See how I'm adding, right? The next one is if you subtract. If you subtract. So if you take one and then you subtract, right? And here's one of the great things about understanding functions and inverses, right? See here, <coughs> excuse me, how adding turns into multiplication, right? Adding logs turns into multiplication of these things inside, right? Well, adding and subtracting are a function and it's inverse. Do you see that, right? Add, subtract, add, subtract. So therefore, if I've got the inverse here and here, then I should expect the inverse here on the right hand side as well. This is multiplication. What's the inverse? What's the reverse of multiplication? Divide. Answer divide, right? Division. So you've got over here, not x, y, but x divided by y. Okay? Again, I can prove it in almost identical way to this, but instead of this step, I'm going to divide. I'm going to do x over y, and I'm going to see what happens to the indices. Okay? Alright, that's number two. Number three. If you add this over and over again, right, over and over again, if I go log ax plus log ax plus log ax, right, so for example, if I have three of them, right, adding logs turns into multiplication. So what do you expect this to become? You go x times x times x, right, do you, do you agree with that? So that's going to be x cubed, okay? Now this is just one version of it, right? If I added it four times, I'll get x to the four. If I added it 50 times, I'd have, I'd have x to the 50, okay? So to state that more generally, if I add it n times, n times, right? That's me adding n logs all together in a heap, right? Well, that's the same as multiplying this guy n times. You see, adding there turns into multiplication, right? And just compressing that is multiplication comes an in index. So this is our power law that we use here. Okay. All right. Really quickly, um, just to generally state these guys, right? If you take any log, sorry, any base, any machine, right? Any um, any growth rate you like, right? How long will it take that machine to get something to its original size? Zero. Answer: No time at all. Doesn't matter how fast or slow it grows, right? Because you're just talking about the original size, right? Um, you can say, uh, here we go, log base A of A. One. What's that going to mean? One. That means you've got a growing machine. It grows at a rate of A. It's, it's AFIing the object every minute, right? Well, how long will it take to get A times bigger? Answer, just that one minute, right? just one minute. Another way of looking at it is look at it from the other side, right? Remember, every exponential and every log form um, are just reverses of each other, just turning the coin around. So if I rewrite this, it's a to the power of uh, one, one <laughs> equals a. Well, of course it is, right? Like that's most. It's not even a log law. Uh, it's not even an index law. Right? It's just kind of obvious. Okay. All right, one more. Um, taking this guy here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. If you've got a fraction in there, right, you're not growing anymore, are you? You're getting smaller, okay? So if you've got a growing machine and it's making things go smaller, then where are you going in time? You're going backwards in time, right? So this is negative one, okay? I can restate it another way. I can rewrite using index laws, right? I can rewrite one over a in index form. How do I do that? It's a to the power of negative one, right? That's like this, but with a instead of two, okay? So that's equal to, well, that minus one using this one here should come out the front. You see that? The power can jump out the front, minus one. But like two minutes ago, you told me what log base a of a is. It's one, right? So you've got the minus sign hanging out the front. Does that make sense? So you see, this is not about memorizing the laws. Okay? It's about asking the right question. It's about asking about time and how long something is growing. And everything else just falls out from there.